Nate will... Nate's the man, dude. He's Nate got this. He's gonna he's gonna flip this shit. It's gonna look fire. All Don't right. even trip. All right, we're gonna cut back in. What up, guys? Welcome back to the Comic Caves. We've got another awesome book from another dope creator. Was this from a Kickstarter? This was from a Kickstarter. Um, if you got, we're, we'll show through some of the book. If you guys dig it. You're gonna check it out on, uh, he's got a big cartel shop. We'll put a link in the bio or you can check it out on Instagram. Matthew Allison, super sick, dude. Uh, Cancor, Good this boy. this is the hardcover. It collects um, all his different zines. I think it's like 10 years worth of zines in this thing. Nice. Yeah. And um, it's the, the book itself, like the leather, not the leather, but the hardcover is, yeah. is nice. It's got a sleek feel. I like the embossed like writing. It's, totally. it's dope. It's, it's love, it's, man. Yeah, it's it really, really is. Nice with love. Yep. And if you've read any of these like zines, oh yeah, you, you'll love this because this is just a walk down memory lane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you know the zines, they're printed on you know probably like a, a regular inkjet printer, I'd imagine. So having a little bit more definition, I feel like you you can actually see more of the art on this one, which is sick because like, I, feel like, I, I wanna see the details. Yeah, I feel like he revisited some of them too because put a little more color into it. Mm. Cause aren't the zines usually black and white or were they all in No, color? they're, I mean, they, they have both, you know, yeah. throughout, but um, I, I think the color definitely comes out a yeah. hell of a lot better in here. Um, like nice I said, it was page. published from 2011 to 2021, and we're in 22, so yeah, nice. 10 years That's worth. That's a decade right there. Yeah. Hell yeah. This is, uh, this right here is the uh, MCU. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I like this a little better, I think. Well, I like this anyway. I fucking, I, I dig on this one for sure. Um, you guys are going to see a ton of Frank Miller influence on this, yeah. so uh, forgive me if I point it out many times but you see a lot of it um if you guys don't know canker is kind of this uh stand-in character he's like a super mech mech guy i don't know how you describe him but uh he's got kind of ambiguous powers and he fights all these other cankers that are uh look himself that, look at that crazy canker in the hole in the hand you see that did you see that that was dope Another thing to pay attention to as we flip through is it, it, arms and hands, man. Uh, Matthew Allison draws crazy hands, crazy arms. Um, you know, Quentin Tarantino likes feet. I think Matt likes some, some fucking some hands. hands. Yeah. Look at that. You got your ego, ego world. You got some throwback to some of those old school pop artists back totally. when the old school comics. Yeah. Super nice. Nah. Limb missing. Nah. Um, the writing in these stories is, is pretty fun. Uh, it's super wacky and it's, it's all done by him. Uh, Jose, you see him wincing over there. Um, that's awesome man all the details is incredible and the mixture of colors the way he blends them dude that's you could yeah i could see this why this took 10 years definitely does he use uh this is digital right he does all of it digital or is he you know i think he i think he's a quill guy i think he uses like a quill pen sort of really? deal i'm i maybe a brush Cause he like the um, the little scratchy marks. I don't I don't think you can get that with digital. Like I mean, that seems like it'd take way more work to get those like the the line weights all different and everything. Yeah. I I don't know. Maybe colored digitally. That was just part one. Yep, part two. <laughs> and then and ten years ago, I wouldn't think there's a lot of dudes doing this ten years ago That's with true. A, with digital. That is true. This is um this is one of his more like autobiographical stuff. He has himself star in these uh you know situations. Uh or I don't know if star is the right word. It usually gets beaten down and So yeah, dude, this is uh 
is nice and meaty. There's a lot to this. I could go on and on for each, every page. Like I've been going for a while now. But yeah, just some But we don't want to spoil the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, we want to do it. There's a lot of good there stuff There it is. That's here. the other Batman story, right? So, you know? Yeah. Definitely. And uh, I feel like his art's super consistent all the way through, man. It's, it's really enjoyable. Um, maybe you want to skip ahead to like that last storyline. You start to see a lot of like a lot of the fists, a lot of um, interesting like tones used. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I can't recommend this enough. And like I said, you can check it out on his uh, Big Cartel store. If you're a comics fan and you like something a little bit more weird, a little bit more underground, this is uh, it's gonna be for you. It's super sick. Yeah, this one. Like you can see his evolution as an artist. Is too, that not is, Miller? Oh, oh, come yeah. on, look at that. Yeah. But and he yeah. grows on every page. It's freaking crazy, man. So yeah, you that. see his progression of his art all the way up. It's dope. Yeah, I really like Kankor. 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 So yeah, do yourself a favor and pick up this dope, dope collection right here, Kankor. On that dope sticker. There you go. There you go, guys. Until then, this was the Comic Cave. I'm just showing off some awesome books we pick up. Until then, we're out. Bye. Cancor. Cancor. Cancor, my pieces.